Bingo! Car! Come on! Morning, Hope. Hey, guys. Uh, hey, keep an eye on the store for me. Going into Bridgeton. Got my first weekend backpackers. Hey, the two years we've been here, Luke had what? Six hikers? You're doing good. You're doing great. 1850. There you go. Uh, hey, Logan, um, I've got a Mr. and Mrs. Yeager driving themselves in as well this morning. Would you put them in cabin one for me? Sure. Unless you want a trip to town with me. That? Deal's a deal, son. Today's the day of service to generators. Uh, get you anything in Bridgeton? Not that I can think of. I might want to check with George. Yeah, sure. So how you doing, Hope? Okay, complain. Oh, yeah. thanks, George. I'll have another slice of that, Georgie. This is my navy blend. Kept me alive in Korea. I'm uh, going into Bridgeton, George. You need anything? No, I got in supplies yesterday. You want some to eat? Ah, uh, no, thanks. Lost my taste for country breakfast. So how's business? You got any of those uh, Twilight Zoners this weekend? Yeah, my first backpackers. Mind you, come evening, they'll probably all expect to sight a few aliens in the sky. Looking for flying saucers? <laughs> Bunch of losers. <laughs> yeah, well, it's living, guys. Got it. Hey, Val, anyone serving here? Be right with you, sir. Lino, you want to go help him? I can oh, do this. That's okay. Keep change, kid. 
They have a different sense of time south of the border, don't they? Hey, I was born here in Bridgeton, like my dad. <laughs> you got a problem, lady? Not yet. You're new around here, huh? Not exactly. You ever get lonely? I come through here every week. Don't stop. Expeditions? That's me. Yeah, this is my dad. He's the backpacker around here. Hey, Abby. Uh, morning. Hope Glaxton. Mr. Toomey? Hi, Thad. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, there should be one more. My name's Jack. Glad to know you. First time in this part of the cosmos. I mean it no harm. Hey, hey, somebody in there? Who's in there? Hey! Hey! What's going on? Who's out there? What are you trying to pull? Let me out of here! Lunar was built on the site where a meteorite crashed thousands of years ago. Why would anyone want to live in a place like this? Well, I grew up here. And so when I came back home a few months ago, I heard the cabins were up for sale, so I bought them and moved in. Lunar? Sounds like it should be someplace in New Mexico, doesn't it? You been there? <sighs> I think turquoise and silver should be worn separately. Or banned. Uh, you live in Vegas, right? Yeah, this week I do. See, Mom gets me part-time, and he gets me part-time when he's here. And what about school? Hmm, I've about run out of schools. That's enough, Abby. Huh? He doesn't need watching over all day. This isn't Detroit. I don't watch over him all day, do I? You mother him. Well, he doesn't have one any longer, does he? Ray, it's been two years now. I think he's dealing with it better than you are. 
He doesn't, he doesn't know what he's doing. Is there any chance I can get a shower when we get there? Oh, yeah. The cabins have uh, showers. But once we're on the trail, just the river. Providing a nippy, if existential, cleanliness. How far is Area 51 from Lunar? There is no Area 51. Yeah, he should know. He was in the Air Force there. Abby. Hey, for real? There's no Area 51. It's a military base. It's part of the nuclear triad. I flew choppers. I never saw no aliens, no saucers, and no UFOs. The governments don't always want people to know the truth. You peace and brown rice generation. You still fly there? I left the military seven years ago. Yeah, he got tired of all the moving around. Now, now he works for the oil companies. Mm -hmm. He moves around just as much, but a lot further away. Let me out of here! It's freezing in here! Well, the big excitement happened about 17 years ago, but I was in Chicago by then, so I never saw anything, but a lot of people say that they saw some kind of UFO hovering over the base and uh, lots of little aliens climbing down. Like those ones in Roswell. And the government's always denied anything happened, but um, you try getting anywhere near the base, do you really buy into that stuff? Well, a lot of people find it interesting. There's always a lot of psychic energies in places of great emptiness. What's that? Why's that truck there? I have no idea. It was on the side of the road this morning. Must be one of Phil's. What's it doing on the road? It's weird, I don't see him around. Aliens at large. We need to get it off the road is what we need to do before somebody gets himself killed. Use some help here, pal. Come on, smile. Thank you. 
driving. Huh. I'm gonna go call the ship. Driving? No, it was driving by itself. Maniac. Thought I told you to do the generator. Done. It's pretty clean. Looked worse than it was. Well, what are you up to now? Keeping it in shape for the guy for when he comes back. Well, I hear Tally's in Balmain doing five to ten for some drug thing. It's probably stolen. I'm meaning to talk to the sheriff about what to do with it. It's just beautiful. There's no way I'm letting you have a motorcycle, Logan. Dad, it's too quiet here. No, I'm not gonna lose you, too. You're not the only one who misses her, Dad. I miss her, too. Those should be hopes of uh, guests. Hope asked me to do that, Dad. Remind me, what am I doing here? Well, it may not be the French Riviera, honey. How would I know? No one ever takes me there. You the Jaegers? Used to be. You're meeting the budget version. We've been driving all night. We're here for the lunar nature trek. Oh, great. Uh, your tour leader's gone into Britain to pick up the rest of your party. She should be back in about an hour. So if you want to, you can put your stuff in uh, cabin one. Oh, a real cabin. Boy, what fun. She's had an accident. There was no one driving. No one. There had to be somebody driving with their head down. Trucks don't drive by themselves. Stranger things have happened around here. You okay? No. I just wish I wasn't here. Yeah, I know. Okay, 
I want to go home now. Look, when this guy arrives, he's going to take us back to Lunar, and we're going to get on with our weekend. I totally didn't want to come in the first place. Well, Abby, the fact is we're already here, so just cool it. You know, when you're stressed, it's good to meditate. Are you nuts? Probably. Helps me back home, down by the ocean. Big Sur. You know him? Yeah, I heard of it. Lots of waves, huh? I run a bookstore there. They sell crystals, too? Look, trucks don't drive themselves, okay? Maybe it just wanted some company. Come on now, baby. Get up there. <laughs> Get up there. Well, time to hit the road, I guess. Georgie. Georgie! Could you fix me a BLT to go? You bet. I just don't know where to begin. Mmm. Country food. Rural. You used to love this stuff. We went backpacking all the time. I was 19 and I didn't have nails. You had a sense of humor, though. Mm, whatever happened to that? Weekend break was your idea. I didn't expect to be driving all night and end up on the moon. Next time, I'll stick the pin in the map. Breakfast by candlelight. Mm. Be a sport, John. I've been a sport ever since we got married. And where's it got me? Hey, Pete. Take a look at this. Now, what's that all about, man? What the hell is that? I don't suppose there'll be any power on at the Hilton over there, either. Lighten up, honey. Let's have a little fun. Ooh, in this dump, no one ever comes here to have fun. We'll never be able to afford a trip to Europe. Next year to Provence.
police truck is that? What's he doing? Where's Hope? She went over here. Some idiot went crazy, wiped out her van, and they tried to back kill her. Yeah, me too. Some dumb drunken nutcase. Yeah, it was the big thing. silver refrigerator. Yeah, exactly. Well, there was no one driving. <gasps> oh my! There was. <gasps> oh my God! It's it's Phil. Is he? Nothing I could do. No pulse. Nothing. We gotta get out of here. I want to go home. Go to Lunar. I'm going to Vegas. Stay no easy time. on the off hey, we, we got a rogue killer out there headed for Lunar. My son's there. That's where we're going. Oh, come on, Abby. I am not going with going. Us. Coming with us, Abby. Tried to reach the sheriff. Can't get through. You okay? No, I'm scared to death. There's no one driving. Well, I got a rifle in the truck that blows tires out. You be careful, Bob. Whoa. I don't get it. What's that all about? Well, I'll tell you what, something's going on. License plates on it, uh, but we uh, really at this juncture. Hey, quiet. Something's coming on the TV. Listen to this. Electricity is out for most areas. I'm asking everybody north of Bridgeton uh, to just hold on. It'll be at least 24 hours before we can get to you. Uh, everyone should stay inside. Make sure you have plenty of water. We're not quite sure what chemicals the tanker was carrying, but an emergency response team is on its way from the state capital. Unfortunately, the, uh, the airport has been closed down because of the toxic cloud, so it'll be some hours before that team can get to us to help with the, uh, with the cleanup. Uh, in the meantime, once again, we ask everyone to stay inside, uh, and we will keep you informed. And, uh, and just hang on. I repeat, just, just hang on. Base, this is Andromeda 601. Do you copy? Over. Base, this is Andromeda 601. Do you copy? Over. Yeah, we're about 30 miles east of ground zero. Roger that. 
better suit up. the end of the hot water. So you make it, and that big bastard just rams you. Can't get nothing on the CB. It's all dead. Oh, the CBs are on the fritz. We got a mess out there. Just, you got a you got a rifle in here, boss. He he doesn't like guns. because I don't know. Now, here's a mom. Can't you stand here? Well, I don't know, Bob. Even the town are cut off. She you know, said all the roads to Luna are cut off. I got a message here just before his CB went down. We're hearing a lot of reports of CBs down. Probably some sort of electrical interference is the best guess so far. Now, we repeat. This is a major chemical spill. The state emergency services are on their way to start a cleanup. We've heard there's a possibility that even a small amount of this stuff on your tires could prove hazardous. Uh, friction, fire, dangerous smoke that if inhaled could actually prove fatal. So please, if you're outside the area, do not make any attempt to enter Bridgeton. And wherever you are, just stay inside. As soon as there's clearance, they will be choppering out to you. Just hang on, folks. They will get to you. Just hang on. Just hang on? Yeah, sure. Just hang on for what? Hey, what the hell are we mopping up here anyway? VC 972. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hey, I better go check on our equipment.
Why, you little... Very cute. All right, kid. Come on out right now. Logan Porter. You're welcome. What's going on? What are they doing? I, I don't know. They, they want uh, attention. What? Uh, they're making a statement. What? Uh, you got a better idea? Let's just hope they haven't learned to read. I always knew the industrial age would end in chaos. It's, it's our fault. We don't deserve this planet the way we misuse it. These trucks will use it better. Couldn't do it any worse. Phones are out. Check it out. Keep an eye on my wife. Honey, I'll just be in here. Stay with these guys, okay? chance we have is to remember that we're smarter than they are. Yeah, most of us anyway. I have a theory. Oh, great. You know that recent comet shower? No. Go on, I'm listening. Two weeks ago, see? 
It could have bombarded our atmosphere with alien particles which somehow interfered with our energy signals, affecting radio waves, electricity, all that kind of stuff. Now, these trucks are operating on an accidental energy wave which appears to have an intelligence behind it, but it's... No. It, 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 it's probably just uh, random. Yeah, yeah, right. You know, 30 years ago, these fellas almost brought down the government. But why trucks? I'll tell you why. Two words. Area 51. Ah. Anytime anything happens around here, people are always pointing at Area 51. You're damn right. You're damn right. Secret base that doesn't exist, but everybody knows about it. No one's ever allowed in. What's it for? This is one big government conspiracy. I'm telling you. Government's taking over the whole country. Well, I don't think so. Oh, well, now. Come on, what do we got here? What do we got? Hmm? We got radio outage, a power outage. We got uh, crazy machines running around outside. We got a poison cloud. That's probably a virus. They're testing something. It's a government experiment, and we're just the little white mice. Area 51. Nothing goes on there that would have anything to do with this. How'd you know that? Because I was in the Air Force. I flew choppers out of there for two years. It is strictly military. Well, then you're part of it. You just happen to be here on a camping trip? Huh? Right? Yeah. You know something, don't you? You know what's going on. And you're going to tell us right now. Hey, hey! Hey, whoa, whoa. Where the hell did that come from? I kept it out of your way. I'm sorry, Ray. I belong to my dad. You're kind of a sentimental thing. You know, we could try to take out their tires. No, you won't blow out any of our tires with that piece shooter. That's just a 22. Now listen to me! Hey, whoa, whoa. You guys are not gonna bust up my place and put the rest of us in jeopardy. We act together! Now, the latest we have on this toxic substance is that it has been identified as BC-972. It's uh, used in the space industry as a component in an adhesive material used in rocketry. That's all they'll tell us at this stage, but we will bring you more information on this breaking news story as it becomes available to us. What if this is just the beginning? Inanimate objects able to think they could make us their slaves. Seventy-two. Looks like something out of goddamn Area 51 to me. No, this is that Kim Warfare stuff we ain't supposed to be making anymore. You better suit up, buddy. I'll go check on the gear. I'll be right there. I better call this one in. Base, this is Andromeda 601. Come in. This is Andromeda 601. Base, come in. I repeat, this is Andromeda 601. Base, come in. This is Andromeda 601. Base, come in. Over. What you do, man? Cut yourself or
I heard a gunshot. What are they doing over there? My dad will be working on something. Oh, that's, that's great. We're waiting for a bunch of rednecks to save us. My dad's not a redneck. We're from Detroit. Detroit? What are you doing here? He decided to relocate. I didn't get to vote. Yeah, well, parents can be seriously hazardous to your health. I only got one left. I still got two. But only one at a time. Any tools here? Yeah, she keeps them in the back. The carburetor's clogged. But if I can clean it, I can get that pickup going, and we are out of here. He's good with cars. He's always working on one or two at the house. I think that's really what he wants to do, just work on cars. So what does he do? He sells them. What was that about with the gun? He won't allow guns to the property. He lost his wife two years ago in a random drug by gang shooting in Detroit. Uh, I shouldn't have kept it around. Well, it might be a good thing he did. Pipe's big enough to crawl through? Yeah. Yeah, that might be. If they make a surprise run for it, they'll be safe in there. Meanwhile, we can distract these trucks somehow and they can get back in here. Yeah, it's worth a try. Something I haven't told you. Why? There's some high powered radio telescopes at that Air Force base. So? It's unusual. I don't know if NASA set it up or what, but NASA had a program called SETI, Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. Congress, they cut the funding on that, didn't they? Yeah, after only about a year. Right, well... What? There's a group of scientists got some private funding, and they took over most of NASA's scopes and their computers, and they're still listening. It's called Project Phoenix. You think that might have something to do with this? <laughs> not, not really. What if I'm wrong? Well, don't tell them. Hey. Hey, Logan. Come here. What drainage pipe? The one over there.
take my chances. Go where? Where everyone else is. That's smart. I don't want to stay here anymore, Logan. I can't. Don't do that again. We have an escape route. We have communication with my dad across the road. He'll tell us when. When, though? He'll know. Just... Just hang in with me, okay? You want to try to sleep now? You still take these? Not very often. They're very strong. I was an RN before I was married. George told me about your wife. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Must have been hard for you. Logan, too. I'm, I brought him out here so he'd be safe. No gangs, no guns. Hmm. I won't let him die. Neither will I. I came back here because it's where I feel safe. At a marriage that turned nasty. Violence, separation, restraining orders, <laughs> all nine yards. This was a good place to grow up. It's still a good place to live.
What the hell is going on? Logan? Yeah? You do all right? So far. This could be our chance. Well, I'll tell you what, Bob. What's that, Pete? That man's boy's outside. Hmm. You fool with him, he'll mess you up. Well, I don't take orders from trucks or pump jockeys. I only want what's rightfully mine. Dad? Yeah, I'm here, I'm here, son, I'm here. Why did the truck stop? I, I don't know. That one truck honked and he may be giving orders to the other one. But I'm not sure. All right. Hey, where are you going? I'm going home. Oh, not right now. <clears throat> oh. Ray! Hey! <clears throat> Peace, brother. Hi, son. Listen. I want you to stick your head out, okay? But if the truck, if it goes into gear, I want you to pull back, all right? <laughs> all right. Okay. Okay, do it now. What's going on? All right, son. All right, listen. All right, this is what I want you to do. It's going to take some guts, okay? But I want you, I want you to roll out under the truck, and then I want you to position yourself between the back wheels, okay? the only way my dad's got the truck spooked somehow. Then I want you, I want you to slide forward towards me. Okay, Dad. What the hell happened? 
happened in here? That guy saw an opportunity. He almost got these kids killed. What the hell happened out there? I got ticked. It seemed to work. It didn't work for him. Them trucks. Well, what about that refrigerator truck? It was like it was calling the shots when it honked and it stopped. They're getting smart. Oh, we gotta stay smart. Please do this. I don't know what I'm doing. No, you're doing fine. Just use the antiseptic, okay? I'll go look at that stupid truck driver. Sit up. Sit up. Come on. Abby? Abby, I'm sorry I got you into this. Mm -hmm. Guess I haven't been the greatest father, huh? Well, I don't know. I wouldn't be the right person to ask. I mean... I hardly ever see you, right? Honey. No, I mean, you went away to the Gulf for 18 months, and when you came back, you and Mom didn't even talk to each other anymore. That was fun. Look, people grow apart. Can you they just make keep mistakes. still, please? Looks like you're gonna live. Guess you're just gonna have to get used to me, then. Do you want me to get you a soda or something? No, I'm okay. But thanks. I wouldn't go too far. Those trucks are getting real smart. Hey, you must have a cigarette. Sorry. Spaced out 50-year-old flower child to quit smoking. I mean, what's the world coming to? I don't suppose you have a joint, then. How do you spell that? People change, Abby. Just give them a chance. Why? We're gonna get out of here, like, honestly. Sure. How? We don't even know what's going on everywhere else. Why is everybody dying? I don't know. I'm just an old hippie. No. Are you okay? Ray, where's Mrs. Yeager?
crazy. We gotta do something. We stay put. No, no, we gotta get out of here. I know the trails. I could get us no, out no, of no, here. The sheriff knows where we're at. As soon as they clean up the chemical stuff, they'll be here to take care of us. In the meantime, we take care of the kids and wait. No, you can't just do nothing. It doesn't work. In the end, you have to take care of yourself. No, no, no. In the end, you protect the people you care about. Nothing else matters. So what, what are we supposed to do? We wait. Gets to you, doesn't it? Yeah, noise is always the worst. Reminds me of Inchon. Who? Inchon. Inchon Landing. The Korean War. Oh, yeah, I remember that. You know, I try not to let myself process wars. Korea, huh? Beautiful people, Koreans. Yeah. Gave ginseng to the world. Well, that's good. Now I know how Mayor Daly felt in Chicago, 68. You there, too? Sure. You too? Yep. Graveyard of our youth, huh? <laughs> so you were there too, Michigan Avenue, the riot? I was there. Man. That's... After I got out of the Navy, I joined the police. George. What do you think? to each other. Here, get some soup into you. Good man. Where'd you find him? Uh, him and my dad served together in Korea. Sweet, he's devoted to you and Logan. Well, he doesn't have long to live. His liver shot. He came here to die. Well, he's not the only one with that problem right now. Now what are they doing? They're up to something. They're telling us something. Telling us what, Ray? That you're right. George, get the maps. Let's get the hell out of here. There's a trail from this pass that winds along the ridge for about five miles, then it turns north here and drops down into some old gravel pits. It's the best place to land a helicopter around here. I think we had some training exercises there. It's a long ways. I'll make it. I'll meet you there at first light. Logan, what shape's the motorcycle in? Come on, you were a bit late getting it back in the garage last week when I went to Bridge and I saw you. Is it gassed up? Yeah. All right, it's probably your best bet then. Take the motorcycle. Who won't the trucks chase him? Oh, wait till night, I'll distract him. You up for it? I'll meet you there. What if they won't give you a helicopter? I'll steal one. Let's go, boys. Yeah. 
I can't believe it. I know. Are we ever gonna get out of here? Sure we are. Hey. What? Thanks for helping me out of that pipe. It wasn't me, it was my dad. No, you did it too. Scared? Yeah. I'm sorry I hit you. I'm over it. All right. I got a compass here. That might help. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That, 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 that. They took out our water pump. They got the generator. Logan! Logan, where are you going? Logan! What are you doing? Are you going to get yourself killed? Outside. Dad, it could be a rescue party or something. Maybe, maybe we ought to answer it. Could be a trick, too. Oh, these trucks are dialing phones oh, now. Let it ring. Dad, I think we should Son, have... it's not safe out there. Let it ring. Someone's 
someone's out there. Uh, they let me escape. What? I think they're about out of patience. They're coming. Look out! No! No, 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 no! Everybody get down! They want us to do something. I know what they want. Dad, where are you going? They're talking to me. That's what all these warnings are about. They want fuel. That's why they let you out of the drainage pipe. They want to keep the one who feeds them happy. Now they want me to return the favor. Dad. Come here. Come here. I'm going to go fuel the trucks. When they all come to the, the gas pumps, that'll give you a chance to get out of the valley after that stay off the roads, okay? We're not gonna go and get away with this. I know. I know. We're gonna need food and water, okay? All right. You okay? Yeah. Okay, keep an eye on them. You bet. Thanks for saving the Harley. Gas still in a diesel engine. Rot its guts. Great idea. I'll see you first light tomorrow. Huh? You stay close to Ray and Hope. You believe in me? This will be the last time. I think they had something to do with the poison cloud? Well, the chemicals were in a truck. That's all I know.
What was that? They're just showing us who's in charge. I think they're done. Right, out the back. Stay down and wait. Take the flashlight. See you soon. All right, that's the last one. Okay, now what? Don't stop. Give him a head start. We can stop here. They can't get at us. I'm so sorry about George. He saved our lives. All right. We can get some rest here. Head down to the gravel pits at first light. I'm gonna need another man up here. Over. Whitney to base, come in.
They still down there? I don't know. I hear engines every now and then. Thought I'd be safe in Lunar. <laughs> Same here. You think there's any place safe anymore? I don't know. You ever notice how when you think you got the world under control, you realize we're not really the ones in charge? Earthquakes, hurricanes, floods. Could be the beginning of a world covered in rust.